Frank. Here's the thing, Frank. If I feed you, then every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. And this is not an Arby's. That was not the episode that I was expecting to see. Episode three of HBO's The Last of Us just aired right now on HBO Max, and I just watched it, and I'm about to talk about it, give you my first impressions, my first overall reaction. This isn't gonna be a play-by-play. -play. I'm not gonna talk about every single thing that happened. I'm just gonna tell you my overall thoughts and the main things that I liked and any critiques, if there were any. So I was really, really, really looking forward to this episode. One of my favorite sections in the game, if not my favorite section in the game, is the Billstown section. And we knew that this was gonna be the Billstown episode. And when Nick Offerman was revealed to be playing Bill, I thought it was perfect casting. Well, we got the Billstown episode and it is by far the biggest change to the game that we've gotten so far in the show. I do have a lot of pros and I have some cons with this episode, but before I get into it, consider subscribing. I do TV show discussions, trailer reactions, movie discussions, that sort of thing. And I talk about survival horror gaming. The Last of Us is based on a video Video game, so consider subscribing if you're at all interested in any of that. So the vast majority of this episode is centered entirely around Bill and Frank. You know, Bill from Bill's Town and Frank was actually in the video game as well, but you never meet him, you never talk to him, Joel is not aware of his existence in the video game, you just find him hanging. He hung himself and he stole a battery and then he stole a bunch of Bill's supplies and that's it. But in this game, Bill and Frank actually have a very long relationship with each other and that is what this whole episode is. It is getting to know Bill and getting to know Frank and getting to know their relationship. Personally, for me, this doesn't seem weird to me. This doesn't seem out of place. In fact, if you remember the video game, Bill actually had a men's nudie mag in his stash. So I really don't think this is them changing the character of Bill at all. I really don't. I think this is just them elaborating on the character of Bill. However, Bill's character is different in the video game, more specifically because of just his overall personality, his attitude, that sort of thing. But I really, really did enjoy Bill and Frank, and I liked learning their story in this episode. I really did. It was super sad, it was super sweet in moments, and it was overall satisfying to both of those characters. It left a very bittersweet feeling. However, my main critique with this episode, and again, I'm not gonna say it's a critique because I liked the episode. I really, really did. But more, this is just me being a huge fan of the game and being super sad that we're not gonna get iconic action moments in the show that we got in the game. Again, Bill's Town was my favorite section of the video game and there were so many amazing set pieces in that. Like for example, when Joel gets trapped and he's hanging upside down and he has to kill the clickers and the infected as Ellie's running around and then Bill saves him. And then when you go through the high school and you fight that bloater, I think it's called, I might be wrong, but that big beefy bastard in the video game. It's basically the first boss fight in the video game. I'm sad we're not gonna get that, but that's really my only critique with this episode. Something else that I really enjoyed about this episode was when uh, Joel and Ellie were going through the gas station looking for supplies that Joel had left there. It was a Cumberland Farms and I'm from New England. There are Cumberland Farms everywhere. So I thought that was hilarious. And there is this moment in the gas station where Joel is just searching for supplies much like you do in the video game. And while you're doing that, Ellie is messing with this Mortal Kombat uh, pinball machine, not pinball machine, arcade game. And she's just giving commentary on it. And it's ripped straight from the game. Not that dialogue exactly, but just the tone, the atmosphere. And I said this last episode when Joel fought the clicker that no video game adaptation that I have seen has matched what it's like to play the game so perfectly as that clicker scene. And it did it again in this episode, just grabbing materials while Ellie is just going off about something pop culture related. And then when the episode episode ends, Joel and Ellie get Bill's truck and they get a bunch of supplies and they leave and they head out and they're wearing their iconic outfits from the game. Ellie has the red shirt and Joel has the green flannel and I thought that was really cool. I'm really, really excited for next episode. If the show continues to follow the game as closely as it has been, next episode should be slight spoiler alert, I guess, if you haven't played the game, but Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And that was my second favorite section of the game. Not, okay, maybe that was my third favorite section of the game, but in terms of just like, just epic, intense fight for your life survival, 
portion of the game that was probably my favorite. Anyway, that's my quick and brief thoughts on the episode. What did you think about it? Please let me know in the comments because I really cannot predict the reception to this episode. I have no idea. Are people gonna like it? I have a feeling people could really like this episode and really enjoy and embrace the changes. But I also have a feeling that tomorrow I'm gonna see tons of headlines and tons of videos with the captions that say something along the lines of, this is where The Last of Us takes its first misstep. So what did you think about it? Again, let me know in the comments and consider subscribing. I do TV show discussions, trailer reactions, movie discussions, and talk about survival horror gaming. Thank you for watching, especially if you watch this far.